Here we have the Dolby solutions for your DCI theatre, including the automation, the DCI media player, your sound processor and your 3D needs. So I'll give you back to the Dolby guy and he can tell us about it. Sure, thanks. Yep, so we already talked about this. I oh, will get a shock from the 750. And so this is our server system. Uh, it's comprised of two components. It's a show player and a show store. Basically the way it works is this bottom portion is your storage unit. It's your ingest and storage. So typically a movie will come on a uh, removable hard drive caddy. It will plug in here. The movie get ingested into the show store. And depending on the size of your hard drives, it will depend on how many movies you can store. Typically with, with our current default system, it's about eight movies will fit on here. And um, so what will happen is this is actually the video decoder portion of it. So this basically, the content's all encrypted, so it sends it up here encrypted. This will actually do the decoding and send it over to the projector. So it's kind of a two-component two system. The bottom box here is our uh, NA10 network automation interface. And this is what actually translates the electronic cues that you put on your show for things like lights, masking, things like that, sound cues. It actually translates it to relay contact closure so you can interface with the, your other devices out there in the theater. Um, Let's see, what else didn't we cover? This little box here is actually our DFC-100. It's a controller that we use for our 3D system, which happens to be a component of which is up on the top. This is, a, this is the filter wheel assembly that goes into a projector. And it's basically, if you look at it closely, you'll see it's comprised of two, two halves, if you will. It's a left eye, right eye, and it spins. And basically the way it works is it's a color shift. There's an RGB color shift on, on each eye that happens in the projector. And then subsequently, when you have your glasses on, you get the color shift back with the same kind of filtration system on the glass on the on the glasses. So this color wheel predominantly goes in the projector. So all the Dolby solutions, the, the color wheel has to, to be installed into the projector. Is that correct? That's, that's exactly correct. We have uh, different kits for different model projectors, uh, DLP projectors that are available out there, and that's exactly right. They they they're designed to go inside the projector. And looking at the color wheel, we can see here there's a mechanism to pull it in and out of the light stream. So that's how it turns it on and off. Is that correct? Yep, exactly correct. Um, obviously, it's in, it's dropped in during a 3D playback mode. And the DFC-100 controller, um, part of its job is to do just that. And what we can do is we have we can put drop cues in the show to control things like that. Um, projector can also control that and uh, based on the kind of show that you have.